the public is calling 911, no matter what their emergency, we want to be able to respond, handle that emergency, mitigate the issue, whatever that may be. We, we have to continuously train. We want to be perfect no matter what we're doing. Everything that we do, all the different disciplines are constantly changing. Well, forcible entry is a, a integral part of, of what we do on a fire scene. If we get to a business or a commercial business, uh, a residence or anything, and we need to gain entry, we've got to be able to do that and do it quickly. Well, when you're talking about a fire scene, our number one priority is rescue. We never want to assume that the structure or whatever it is we're going into is clear. So it's mostly for the rescue of the community the people that are involved in that scenario. But it also involves the rescue of our own. When we go into these buildings, there are lots of different things that can happen, lots of things that can go wrong. And when we have guys go in, we kind of know the direction that they're going. We know where they're kind of going to be. But if we have somebody go down, we have a collapse of some type, whatever the case may be that causes one of our firefighters to go down, we've got to be able to go in and get them. Being physically capable and able and in good shape is paramount. We don't want to be a liability to ourselves if we're out of shape, if you will. We run, we do stairs, we carry uh, sandbags. When one of our firefighters has got, is fully decked out in their PPE, their coat, their pants, helmet, gloves, equipment, um, halogen bars, New York hooks, air packs on our back, we're looking at anywhere from 80 to 100 plus pounds on an individual, uh, not including their own weight.